Hey everyone, and welcome back to the X-Ring. On today's episode, I have some exciting news about a new tool that's getting ready to hit the market called the Borka Torque Driver. Now, this is not a new tool. Boris, the owner of the company, actually invented this somewhere around 2010, and basically it was a precision torque driver. And this was the original design. I've had this for nine years now. And what it did was it incorporated this design where it had a breakover cam like this. So you know when you hit that certain torque value, it would break over. In 2015, he changed it because I was limited on the torque values that I could achieve because they were specific values here on either side. And what he did was he changed it in 2015 to where it had an adjustable slider bar in here. But what he's done now is he's essentially came up with what they call the 2020 BTD Borka Torque Driver, and it looks like this. So based on customers' requests and feedback, what he's done is he's come out with this device, which is basically two highly accurate and very precise torque drivers. On one side, you have adjustability from 10 to 27 inch pounds, and on the other side, it goes from 28 all the way to 70 inch pounds. This is made in the USA, it's patented, and basically what it is, is it's a crossbar design, stainless steel, with anodized aluminum, and what he's changed was the clicker mechanism here. Basically, this moves an eighth of an inch in a direction, and when you've achieved that torque, it will click like that with a very distinct audible click so you'll know you've reached that torque value. And guys, this is one of the smallest torque drivers that I've found that has the accuracy that the BTD does, and let's go ahead and take a look and see how this thing works. All right, guys, so the Borka torque driver consists of two pieces. You have your main crossbar. You guys can see there it goes from 10 all the way up to 27 inch pounds. And then if you flip it over, you're going to pick up at 28 and go all the way up to 70 inch pounds. So that's your main crossbar. And then the clicker is going to correlate to the side that you're using. You also have the spindle. And on the spindle here, you have the handle, which this part unscrews. We always recommend storing that on this so that you don't damage your threads and then you have your tool bit holder which is held and released by a spring mechanism. So on this JP rifle here the manufacturer calls for 29 inch pounds across for the crossbar so what we would want to do is we want to find 29 inch pounds unfortunately on this low side that is not going to give us the range this finishes at 27 so we're going to be using this side and what we're going to do is we're going to place the spindle in the crossbar, doesn't really matter where you put it initially, then you're going to take your cap and screw it on until it touches. Once it touches, it still allows us to be able to slide it, and I'm going to put it exactly on 29 inch pounds, just like that. Once it touches, I just give it a quarter turn, and that's locked into place. This is a Torx T20, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a T20 bit into here, and we'll go ahead and tighten that down. Inserting the T20 bit is very straightforward. All we have to do is just take it and just place it in there. It's locked in. It's not going to come out. The only way it's going to come out is if we pull on that, and that will release it with the spring mechanism. Now, in order to hold this properly, it really depends on where the handle is in relation to the crossbar. If the handle is located down here, I might have to use fingers down this way. The closer we get up towards the press mechanism up here, we probably want to change locations. So in this location, I'm going to go in between the index finger and the middle finger. That will enable me to hold it and put pressure or apply pressure this way. So let's go ahead and see how that works. JP recommends 29 inch pounds on this crossbar. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my grip. I'm going to hold it this way. Have my thumb on this. I'll start in the center and work my way outwards. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of pre-tensioning everything. I'm not getting close to that 29 inch pounds torque value just snugging everything up, making sure that that mount was forwards. And so those are pre-torques. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start in the center here. And I'm slowly going to press nice and smooth until this clicks. That's 29 inch pounds. We just reset it again. We'll go to the next one. Now anytime you do that and you have a span of like five bolts like this, I always recommend you go back to the center because you'll probably have influenced it slightly to where you can tighten it up a little bit more. Same thing when you're chasing scope rings. 
Guys, as you all well know, many manufacturers use a half inch cross bolt at 65 inch pounds. So what we've done is we've set this one up for 65 inch pounds. And let's see how we have to grasp it now. So holding the tool, what I want to use now is my pinky and my ring finger. That's going to give me plenty of hand strength to be able to rotate this through. And that would be my 65 inch pounds. All right, I hope you've enjoyed those instructions on how to properly use the BTD, the Borka Torque Driver. Stay tuned, and what we'll do is we will have another video on how to use the Precision Torque Limiters, the PTLs. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.